Welcome to Slovenia, welcome to Maribor, welcome to Podim Conference. Persistence, knowledge, being crazy, being innovative, being passionate, sleepless nights, believing in yourself. You find yourself among those words, right? But I kept this list really short so we can move on because those are only a couple of virtues that we all have to have to succeed. Okay, uh, but we all know there's so much more, right? But it all starts with dreaming big. And if you have all the important ingredients and if you are stubborn enough, then you can say, welcome to the 35th podium. The team has been doing this for 35 years. I guess this conference is older than most of the people in here, right? <laughs> Podium has become one of the largest and leading conferences in entrepreneurship in, in, and innovation in the Alpe Adria region. This year, the team behind Podium brings us 70 plus speakers from all over the world. Some cutting edge knowledge and a lot of networking opportunities with 600 plus participants. And I need your help now. Let me see if you're awake. Participants from Italy. Ciao. <laughs> we have participants from Austria. Good morgen. Participants from Croatia. Hrvatska, gdje smo? Dobro jutro. And, of course, Slovenia. Dobro <laughs> jutro. That was nice. Thank you. Everyone, please bear with me for a second, because they don't know that. The team doesn't know that, okay? Let us please give a large applause to this wonderful team that has been working like crazy this year again to make this conference a reality. Everyone that has been involved in this, please stand up. We want to see you, please. <laughs> there are a lot of people around, still working. We just want to say thank you. This year's topic is collaboration between startups and established companies. As we hear all the time, each successful large company has a need to have a startup spirit or mind so they can move faster and stay innovative and competitive. Also, collaboration between big and small companies can lead to even greater success. Today and tomorrow, we will hear stories about this and more. And I'm sure there will be some new ideas to take home with us and implement them right away. So sit back and relax, take notes, ask questions, meet new people, exchange business cards, laugh together, and party tonight. Yeah, we are known, we, we are known, we are party animals here. Just be careful, please. <laughs> it will not be nice if you encounter a huge headache tomorrow morning. <laughs> So before we start, let me say it again. Welcome to Podium, the biggest startup event in the Alpe Adria region, co-organized with partners from Austria and Italy. Please take a note. New website is launching soon. www.startupalpeadria.eu
the startup alpeadria.eu who doesn't want to be here who doesn't want to work here it's really beautiful and we are really passionate as you will encounter in those days the proper way to start two days of great stories ideas and meeting new people is with a welcoming speech from the conference chair that's why i'm turning this stage to the visionary here in maribor to the one who has foreseen this future uh, who has dreamed about a vibrant startup community in Maribor a long time ago. And with his knowledge, power to motivate and lead, we have come so far. And I'm damn sure this is just the beginning. Please welcome Professor Miroslav Rebernik from Faculty of Economics and Business, University of Maribor. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, dear startup and podium friends, it's really a privilege to welcome you here at the Maribor at the 35th edition of the podium. Especially because podium has started in Maribor even more than 35 years ago as a meeting of the Society of Maribor Innovators. So there's really a startup, a really small one, and he has a lot of ups and downs, a lot of pivoting and MVPs and all the stuff that goes with a new idea. But today it is one of the, the biggest conference in this Alpe Adria region, and with creating this Alpe Adria startup ecosystem, we all believe that uh, in years to come, this area will really become a great place to work, to live, to have fun, to enjoy, to enjoy the life. We each year try to uh, find uh, an interesting topic. And this year, basically last year, we decided to take the issue of the collaboration between startups and established companies, mainly because the uh, the big established, well-run companies have a lot, a lot of similarities with the startups. They have to think of new ideas, they have to look for the opportunities, they have to be creative, and at, at least a part of the company has always act like, like a startups, and on the other hand, the startups, if they are real growth-oriented growth startups, they would like to, they would like to become a big, uh, a big company one day. And uh, the proof for that, that this is, uh, that we really find out the, the, the current needs of, uh, of our customers, of, of you, uh, is the proof that we have almost 700 registered participants in the two days of the conference coming from 12 countries, from 20 countries, and that we also attracted 30 plus prominent investors who will a judge who will talk to startups and who will contribute to this, to this meeting. And we are especially glad that we have over 50 top speakers that flew into Slovenia from 15 different airports from all over the world, all with one destination. This is the podium, podium Maribor. And ahead of us is a two days of idea sharing, of networking, there is, if I count it correctly, there's 14 keynote presentations, five panels, five talks, four workshops, three round tables, and some more. There is so many in the program that uh, I decided just to pick out two or, two or three of them. The one is the podium challenge. The podium challenge is, uh, I, I believe it will be really interesting to to listen to the five startups from the Alpe Adria region that were selected out of 50 plus entries and they will be pitching before the real business angels and VC funds. And we organized one-to-one -one meetings so that startups will have the opportunity to meet individually with international entrepreneurs, business angels and VC funds and also a podium speed dating, where the startups will meet with established companies 
so that they can really see what and if they have something in common that they collaborate, that they can work together, they can, they can grow together. To enable this process, we, we make a catalog of startup companies from this, this region in which you can find 60 startups uh, and read the basics about them. It will be available upon the conference also on the internet so that uh, everybody can, can see that. I shouldn't forget the startup of the year, 2015, the Slovenia startup competition you are mainly all well aware of. So 107 startups enter the competition, 10 uh, were successful to semi-final. We will see five finalists presented here at the here at the stage, and in the end we will have one winner, the one that will, that will have this, this great uh, title, Startup of the Year 2015. And as mentioned already, evening party networking, basically this conference is meant for networking, meant for networking, to mingle, to talk, to share the ideas, and we have, um, strengthen this networking part so we will see signs and they will have, we have will set up a special let's say networking team who can help you connect people who would like to speak who would like to exchange their their ideas all this wouldn't be possible without uh, really a lot of partners friends and uh, sponsors so thank you to everybody and to each of, of the sponsors friends that that supported us some has supported us all these years that we could organize uh, such, a, such a gathering. So, dear friends, uh, the magic supermarket of knowledge and experience is widely open. I invite you to enter, to take the knowledge, to take the experience that's in front of you and to enjoy to enjoy these two days, meet new friends, make new friends. So welcome to Maribor to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ebernik, for your kind welcoming words and for dreaming big so many years ago. Next on our schedule is to dive straight into the opening discussion with the key stakeholders. But before that, please welcome the executive director of corporate banking of Nova KBM, Mr. Jerne Mochnik. Good morning. Good morning. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear host, Professor Ebernik, Dear startups, dear entrepreneurs, on behalf of Nova Kreditna Banka Maribor, I wish you a warm welcome at the 35th edition of Podium Conference here in Maribor. We in the bank are actually very proud and honored to be a general sponsor of this event, which is in the innovative area, the biggest in the Alpe Adria region. Although the impacts of the financial crisis and recession are still uh, felt in many segments of the Slovenian economy, including banking, of course, uh, the recent turbulent years have taught us that quality business models, innovative ideas, flexibility and investment in knowledge are the key for success. In order to achieve a lasting growth of economy, all stakeholders should strive for not only financial, but also business restructuring. While big systems, such as ours, for example, are being consolidated, streamlined, small and mid-sized enterprises can respond to the changes in the market much faster, more efficient, and more uh, business-oriented. At the same time, SMEs and startups 
can assist also larger organizations in both, on one side, their transformation in processes and establish business activities in their, with their innov innovative approach, which is usually most, more efficient and, of course, most cost effective. Therefore, I think that collaboration between startups and established companies, which is the role of this podium, is a very appropriate topic of this year's conference. I believe it will provide a very useful starting point for many interesting discussions and productive exchanges of ideas that will also contribute to a more robust and more competitive business landscape in our region. At Novak Ritna Bank Amaribor, we strive to be a reliable partner for SMEs, also in these still uncertain times. With our wide range of services and products, we are supporting both mature business and also try to prepare a stable environment for startups. Through our proactive approach, we support more than 20,000 clients in, the, in their daily operations. As well, we are trying to support them with their projects. As the second biggest bank in Slovenia, we are also a major partner in the economy restructuring, being involved currently in more than 40 major restructuring cases in Slovenia. By supporting the podium conference, running the Novak Ritna Banka Business Center, holding free business days for our clients and offering other projects that are often implemented in cooperation with external partners, we prove that cooperation between different organizations can be beneficial and should be encouraged also in these times. Finally, let me wish you a successful conference and many networking opportunities, as well as a lot of new knowledge that will help you transform your business idea into a lasting business success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Mochnik. Before we start, we want to do a shout out to all the conference sponsors and supporters. You can see their logos on the screens. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, hello to everyone, and thank you for being with us today. It's so great to see such a big international audience here in Maribor. We're always starting this conference with opening discussion uh, with all the key startup ecosystem stakeholders, because educational institutions, startups, big companies, policymakers, funding institutions, investors, incubators, technology parks, they're all important parts of the ecosystem and all stakeholders working together is usually what brings the best results. Um, I read an article like 10 years ago, why Silicon Valley, Cambridge and other ecosystem developed so far, um, so fast and so vast. And usually it's 20, 30 people who have a vision how to develop an ecosystem, how to differentiate it from the other eco ecosystems and how to attract talent. And you want to have an opening discussion with all the st stakeholders who helped to develop, um, who, are, who helped in the history and who are helping now and who have a big vision how to develop it in the future, um, helping us to encourage startups, to encourage talented people to start a business um, and achieve their dreams and successes. So today, st uh, six distinguished guests are here with me with the stage. I would ask you for one big applause. As mentioned, they're representing different types of stakeholders in the startup ecosystem. Um, I will ask two to three questions, um, every one of you. Um, I will introduce you first, and then I will ask you one to three questions so you can share with us your perspective um, on why should we collaborate, um, how to develop the startup ecosystem in the Alpa Adria region further, what are we lacking, um, where are we strong, and so on. Um, Monica Bailech, I'm from Ericsson. Um, thank you for being with us today. Um, I have the first question for you. Ericsson is a big multi multinational provider of communication technology and services. 
is a globally really successful company with lots of money, um, with all the successes. Why would, you, why would you ever bother to working with startups and to join startup conferences? Good question. But just to put things in perspective, yes, we're a big company. We have 120,000 people. Uh, we're present in 180 uh, countries around the world. And every day, every working day, we need to make one billion Swedish crowns. That's about uh, $32 billion a year. But uh, from those sales, 60% we need to buy. Um, so 60% of our sales we need to buy. And um, we, only in our infrastructure part, we have 35,000 suppliers. And of course, uh, naturally, some of those are, are startups. And, and today, we're not only uh, selling end-to-end -end systems to the Vodafones of the world, uh, but uh, things uh, are getting more local and complicated uh, than that. So um, we were... Uh, we are uh, uh, working a lot more with the entire ecosystem these days. So last night at, at dinner we discussed this and, and um, I recall uh, in, in Paris, for instance, we're working uh, together with the city of Paris, uh, providing uh, smart building um, applications for building owners in Paris to reduce the, the heat, heating costs. And for this, we cannot work alone, but instead we work with the city of Paris and we also work with a local uh, small entrepreneur uh, within integration. And of course, that happens all over in these uh, 180 countries that we uh, uh, work with uh, many different parties in the, in the ecosystem. But also regarding startups, uh, we also like to encourage this ecosystem to really build on uh, on things in the ICT, the information and communication uh, industry. So we arrange a lot of competitions. Uh, annually we have the Ericsson App Awards. Uh, we also, together with Swisscom, have a competition on machine to machine and Internet of Things. And we have run a number of um, hackathons uh, together with uh, AT&T, the US uh, operator. Okay, thank you. One sub-question, um, perspective of the big company, is it being part of the ecosystem um, purely economical and you have like um, bottom lines and you are measuring ROIs and you try to attract new vendors to sell new products or it's also part of, I don't know, helping society to be better, to strive more and so on? Yes, we, we do have um, something that we call technology for good, uh, where we're not only working with startups, but with NGOs, with the United Nations. Uh, we do uh, a lot of things there. For instance, we have uh, something called Connect to Learn, uh, where we encourage in, in uh, developing countries the education for girls specifically. That's just one. Uh, we also do um, uh, Refugees United. Uh, together with uh, the UN, where we have set up a system and working with this NGO to, where people uh, flee from the country, they uh, sometimes get separated from their family, and that's the way for them to reunite again, even though you're missing your passport, so to say. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question, for the next two days, we will be talking a lot about differences between big and small companies. In your opinion, is it true that startups are able to innovate faster than big companies and are thus interesting targets to acquire or um, entities to work with? For example, you as Ericsson, you're very innovative, but are you less innovative than some startups? Well, um, I wish uh, that I could say that we could just relax, you know, sit back and take it easy and let others do the, the innovation. <laughs> But that's not really the, the reality that we face. We face a fierce competition, so we need to be on our toes. Um, we have been here for 139 years, but we constantly need to reinvent ourselves to be around for another 139 years. So um, innovation is really important to us. We, we spend about 15% of our, our revenues on, on, on R&D. And before coming here, I, I talked to a colleague of mine in Ericsson Research because I've heard that they could spend 
some part of their time on, on research that, that they selected themselves. And I was wondering how big part of your working week could you spend on something that you select yourself? But he said, well, I don't, I'm not really sure. I think it's more or less 100% because we always pick something that a project that we think is really interesting and I want to contribute to that. Okay, last short question. You will have a keynote about um, embracing the network in society. Um, in this society, in the future, um, are startups, established companies and other stakeholders, um, for example, universities, investors, even more connected? Um, is it network networked society only a buzzword or it will bring um, being us even more connected? and less feeling lonely just behind the devices. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have the, this, uh, uh, we're talking about the network society, basically where everything that benefits from being connected will be connected. And we have a vision of 50 billion connected devices. But, but it's not only about the devices and being, those being connected, it's uh, all of those implications that this connectivity will have. For instance, this will make companies much easier to have a, a better connection with the customers, with instant uh, customer feedback. You will have the, all of the crowd uh, sourcing possibilities. Um, it's also about digitalization. Uh, here you can see the music industry really in the forefront and, and digitalizing uh, the products and going from a more of a physical product distribution model to uh, digital uh, and connected uh, industry. But it's also about opening up platforms um, and invited other uh, parts of the ecosystem. For instance, the automotive manufacturers now are opening up parts of their platforms and inviting uh, other stakeholders, app manufacturers or app developers, and it can be road authorities, the city, uh, all of those stakeholders to provide information to the the driver uh, uh, en route. Okay, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to your keynote. Um, our next guest, Mr. Sabo, Samo Hribar Milic from the Chamber of Commerce, Slovenia. Uh, Mr. Milic, the Chamber of Commerce has a really good idea um, of what established companies are strategically interested in in this region and what is their innovation strategy. Um, do you think there's more and more interest from established company to work with startups or we are not that far um, along yet that they have like innovation strategy to acquire startups or to buy their products and so on? I think that there is always a lot of opportunities for cooperation and I really like the idea of innovation which is together with Podium because between large companies and their partners already exist a strong connection. And if someone, for example, newcomers or startup, would like to enter to this relationship, uh, there is no other alternative to be innovative. It means that between companies exist relations uh, based on uh, years of experiences. And of course, uh, there is a lot of development around large companies are strongly oriented towards their uh, main uh, activity. They are focused on these activities. And on the other side, they hardly follow uh, all developments on other fields. And on these fields, I think there is a lot of opportunities for newcomers, for startups. But there are a lot of uh, obligations for them. First of all, I think that in Slovenia, the knowledge among uh, business people that newcomers, startups, have a lot of potential, also experiences and proposals is quite weak. It means that we should promote together the potential of startups and of innovation, innovative culture which has been developed in this particular field of companies. Okay, thank you. Um, this year, the Chamber of Commerce and Initiative Startup Slovenia will become partners with joint project, go projects, goals, and extensive collaboration. Do you think that together you can encourage better collaboration between startups and established companies? What are your exp expectations? What and how can be done? Following our members, uh, it's not true that they are only big companies. We have more than 6,000 
small and medium-sized companies among our membership, we found that uh, their knowledge about, uh, I don't know, some specific topics uh, which are not their priority is uh, weaker and weaker. It means that we found that the potential, the experiences and knowledge which startups have is also potential for our members. We expect that uh, with promotion of startups, with uh, networking which we could establish between them, we could help not only to startups to enter to this market, but also to improve the performance of our uh, main, uh, main, 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 main members. They really have a lot of weakness, starting with, I don't know, knowing IT solutions, uh, marketing, design, uh, new technologies. So in all these fields, we could uh, help each other uh, by connecting them and also by uh, promoting possibilities which both sides have. So I think that the Chamber could play here a role of uh, not only uh, a connector, but also uh, an infrastructure for a new network uh, in this field. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Mr. Risto Klesiak from Technology Park Ljubljana and Initiative Startup Slovenia. Um, maybe you can explain incubators and technology parks are important meeting points of innovative companies, big or small. Um, how do you see the role of incubators and technology parks in the ecosystem, um, especially when it comes to collaboration and now that it's not only, not only about infrastructure but also the services, um, how do you see the role of um, technology parks in the ecosystem, how they can help to, um, to help connecting different companies? Thank you, Blas, for the question. Hello from my side, from Ljubljana Technology Park and Slovenia Initiative to everybody. <clears throat> uh, technology parks and incubators uh, from their early stage were perfectly aware regarding the necessity of, uh, of uh, linking small startup companies with bigger, with existing, or with multinationals. Uh, let's say at, at early 70s, where the uh, Science and Technology Park Initiative starts, this type of companies were called anchor companies. And from that time on, it, uh, it, the bigger companies are performing the role of uh, helping the globalization, the internalization, on speeding up of the uh, startup companies activities. Uh, at that time, uh, the companies inc was included, were including the product of the small company to the product list to the catalog. Today we are calling this that small, smaller companies are entering into the uh, value chain of the bigger company, or at least if they are exchanging the competencies, we call this uh, that they are performing open system innovation. So. Uh, multinationals in, in the such environment represent also, a, a, let's say, a standard of how the business should be done. They are somehow influencing on the entrepreneurial culture of such a society, what is within the technology park or within the incubator. And it also helps to rise the standard and uh, help the companies, uh, uh, let's say, grow faster. The second thing, let's say, for the technology parks or for the incubators, the importance of such a company is also the visibility of uh, such an initiative. And on, on, at the last, they are good payers for the services of the technology parks. Okay, thank you. One more short question. Um, startup ecosystems around the world are developing really fast with the goal to attract the best talent from all over the world. Um, in your opinion, do we have any advantages here in the Alpeadero region that we can offer to entrepreneurs and to attract talented people here? Um, we have seen the video, we have good quality of life, but as a startup, you usually have to work um, 24 hours, so can you really enjoy this quality of life here? Um, are there any other things we can also offer to talented people to move here? For sure, during the sleeping time you can <laughs> breathe the fresh air, let's say. Okay. <laughs> But let's say the development speed of this ecosystem, it varies 
uh, around the world for sure, and it depends on, on entrepreneurial culture, or innovative culture, of the competencies you are having, of the money that is invested, of the support environment, and so on, and so on, and so on. And we are witnessing, let's say, a, a state initiative, Startup Chile, let's say. We are witnessing a regional initiative, let's say, initiative of Startup Slovenia, or Trento region. Or we are witnessing even the, the town initiative, Startup Maribor, with podium in, with, with all the things now. And uh, I, never witnessed, I, I was never present when such an environment was developed in multinational or, or multi-state uh, 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 region. And I think that this is a kind of, um, of uh, let's say, big plus, as the Alpe region is. Uh, and it, 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 is, it represents a logical upgrade of the activities in, in Trentino or in Veneto, in, in Carinthia and in, in Slovenia. Uh, and it, it is so that we can, it enable us to share, let's say, the knowledge, the resources, mentors, the companies, and also it represents the bigger market. So for the entrepreneur, it is important uh, to have the knowledge how to do it on a foreign market. Uh, it is important, let's say, to, to design the company from the beginning using resources for different states. And this is totally new, let's say, an approaching of how, to, how the uh, small company should be developed. And uh, if we will do this properly, probably a new star on a destination map of startup destination map will shine very soon. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Ula Hudina Kmetic um, from European Commission, representation in Slovenia. Um, if we continue what Istok mentioned, we have initiative on the city level, like Startup Maribor, then initiative on the national level, region, regional level, but also European Commission is supporting entrepreneurship. Um, SMEs and startups with different policies um, such as entrepreneurship action plan, startup Europe initiative, accelerate and assembly, and many financial instru 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 instruments like COSME and Horizon 2020. Um, how do you see synergies or differences between initiatives on the city level, um, national level, regional, and then European le level? What's the role of um, European Commission in the whole picture? Before I answer on the question, I would like just to say first congratulations for this yet another top-notch conference. And I think at the Commission representation Slovenia here, we are truly happy that this year we are promoting also your efforts and, and this conference. Thank you for being partnered of the conference. And uh, on your question, um, there are different initiatives that the Commission has been promoting and developing to, to promote your startup community and SMEs in general. And today and tomorrow, my colleague will be presenting the Startup Europe initiative, which truly aims at building up and scaling up the European startup ecosystem. It includes also the Accelerator Assembly and Startup Manifesto, so you're all welcome to join these initiatives. And as regards the financial instruments, for years, we've been developing both debt and also equity financial instruments, because we believe that for, for your innovative ideas to thrive, there needs to be a, an ecosystem that enables funding, easier access to finance. And therefore, venture capital instruments and seed finance instruments, we've been developing them and implementing via the European Investment Fund all over Europe, in Slovenia with the Slovenian Enterprise Fund in particular, and also the new initiatives uh, uh, like the, you mentioned Cosme Horizon 2020, there are instruments that are applicable for you and also the new program, the so-called Juncker Investment Program, um, they are supposed to be instruments uh, such as funds or funds that could be planned. And as regards the synergies, uh, the true EU added value or additionality, we see it only if there are cross-border investments and if there is cross-border fundraising. So initiative like you presented this morning with the uh, Alpe Alta region as a startup hub that is being developed here, or the ideas of Alpe Alta pulling together the equity capital, such, um, uh, uh, such initiatives would fall into the category of EU added value.
Okay, thank you. Um, the European Commission is also a strong supporter of crowdfunding. We will, on the second day, we will have three talks um, about crowd crowdfunding, digital ecosystem, um, and you also have a manifesto on crowdfunding or some guide. Um, can you tell us more how does the European Commission see the future of startup innovation financing? Um, also with crowdfunding is one of the trends and options that the European Commission wants to support and develop further. Yes, indeed, we are, we are supporting because this is as an important alternative source of finance that has embarked on its own path. It's developing uh, at a very fast speed. We don't want to regulate it at any cost. We are developing, or uh, mostly now monitoring developments in different member states. Therefore, there is an um, expert group following this, and we've uh, um, produced or published recently a crowdfunding guide that I'll be presenting tomorrow. So basically, for us, it's an important alternative source in addition to depleted or very limited bank finance, and it's more than just money, so that's important. Okay, thank you very much. And Ms. Maya tomanic vidovic from Slovenian Enterprise Fund. Um, Maya, the Slovenian Enterprise Fund is funding startup companies as well as established SMEs. Um, you support many companies every year um, with finance. But what you encourage in your tenders, especially for startups, in order to receive financing is that they must have a mentor, someone who is more experienced in the business world, someone who helps, um, someone who helps the startup to grow. Um, you want a startup or a company to become part of the ecosystem. Um, do you see mentorship as one of um, the options how startups and established companies, because mentors are usually from the established companies, um, can connect and start collaborating? Well, uh, first of all, uh, on behalf of the Slovenian Enterprise Fund, I would like to welcome all of you. Uh, well, uh, if we are talking about uh, the question what we are looking for in our public tenders, then of course uh, the innovative potential and uh, the new uh, technological improvements are very important, and, but of course uh, also two other elements are important, the market and the team, so that the, the, the startup team uh, has a potential product or services that has a market and that the team is uh, creatively and uh, that the team has the ability to become a globally oriented group of professionals and of course this is very connected with the mentorship. That's why it is important that we connect financial support with the mentorship, with the mentoring coaching programs. But uh, first of all, the Slovenian Enterprise Fund is the financial institution. So our main task is to, uh, to offer the uh, uh, favorable financial sources for all SMEs. 25% of our supported companies are startups and young companies. And we offer um, different kinds of financial sources, guarantees and loans. Uh, in amount of 100 million euro per year, but for startups uh, there are startup money, seed capital together with the business angels, and also venture capital together with the with the private venture funds, and around 25 million euro uh, is meant for them. Uh, and this is quite a lot of money, and we would like uh, that, uh, of course, this money is spent for the projects and for the teams, which will become successful, global-oriented, fast-growing companies. But the finance uh, is not the only element which is dependent uh, on the success. All, there are also uh, uh, technological improvements and uh, quali uh, qualification of the team uh, of employees. And, of course, these two last elements are more or less connected with the coaching, with the mentoring, that's why we, uh, we already connect uh, financial support with mentoring together with the partners in uh, startup ecosystem because each euro and uh, in, in current situation, uh, for example, a successful startup team uh, with really fast growing potential with uh, innovative uh, qualification with, uh, uh, and that they follow uh, their own mainstones, they can get uh, around more uh, than 1.5 million euro in the first four years of different financial support. Uh, and uh, now it is really important that this money is invested really very innovative, if I can say that, and uh, potentially so that uh, from this uh, euro, much more euros will be, will be created. And uh, that's why uh, we have some special mentoring programs um, 
for, for them, so they have to, if they receive our support, they have to be the part of the startup ecosystem, of the startup mentoring programming. They have their own uh, startup mentor from the entrepreneurial environment. And uh, this is very important because we believe that with this support, um, the results will be reached much faster and also, uh, also companies uh, have much large potential to become really global players and okay. on the market. Thank you. You're a big supporter of collaboration and cooperation between different stakeholders in the startup ecosystem. Um, for, for all of you who are not from Slovenia, in Slovenia we usually have a problem to collaborate, so... Um, but collaboration is important and brings um, long-term success. Why is collaboration so important in your opinion? Well, I think that this is for the small economy environment like Slovenia is. This is the, the, only, the only way to be uh, su su successful on the global market. And even in the past, the nations uh, uh, which, uh, uh, which uh, has the strongly, uh, uh, which had the strongly strategy and the common vision, they, they were much more successful than each other. So I think this, this is the good example also for the business environment and. Uh, of course, each partner has to play its own role in the, in the cooperation and, and has to bring value added in this cooperation, but without that, gardening is not the formula for the future success. Okay, thank you. One last short question. Um, are you optimistic about the future? Um, Ten years ago, the startup ecosystem started to develop. Now we have funding, we have more and more incubators, technology parks, accelerators, private investors, um, public money. How do you see the future? Are you optimistic about the region? Well, um, of course I'm optimistic about the future because um, I think I have to be the optimistic because otherwise in the current situation, Slovenia still, still has some problems. Who else than a young uh, team with innovative uh, uh, potential, with, uh, with the energy will bring us or will lead us in the future economic development. And I think this is the, this is the very important way that we support this environment. Uh, because startup teams has the energy, they has the vision, uh, and of course uh, they could be also the inspiration for all others to show that uh, we, can, uh, we can create uh, the future by ourselves, not just waiting for somebody else or for the government or for the, for the country. Uh, and uh, without this, I think our future could be very uncertain. Okay, thank you. Thank you all for believing in Slovenia, for believing in the region, and for supporting Podium Conference. Um, thanks a lot, and one big applause, please.